Bear quake. Definitely bear quake. Epic. Hello, everybody. Princess the Bear here, and we're back today with another Takeout Tuesday. Supporting local businesses here in our our local state, our area, trying to help everybody make it through this time of self distancing. So. We found another local place with some good vegan options. Yes. This time, it's something a little bit more epic than we normally do. I see what you did there. It's called Epic Burger. Epic Burger. But they spell it wrong. Or they spell it right. E the E is backwards. It's like Winnie the Pooh writing. It's their logo. How are you going to say they spelled it wrong? I'm just saying. Anyway, so... They have some amazing vegan options. They have somewhere along the lines of like six different vegan burgers. Yeah, lots of burgers. We got two. I got a non-vegan burger to try out that looked interesting to me. And some sides. So we're going to unpack all this stuff. So we got some fries. It looks like it got some sides on it. With the cheese. Vegan cheese for the princess. I got some tasty looking sweet potato fries. A vegan Philly sandwich. Philly cheese. A non-vegan, medium, rare, Korean burger, and a vegan barbecue burger. In order to make sure that your burger doesn't fall apart, or takeout doesn't fall apart in a lot of places, what they've been doing is giving us your meals in pieces so that they don't fall apart. So like, my Korean burger comes with a fried egg, so this is my egg. And I guess this is the sauce that oh. goes on said egg. Okay. rather excited for this bounty here. I think I'm gonna start with these cheese fries. It's cheese cheese. So I think they make it in house, they said. Get like two of these, they're all sticky. Um. Mm. I feel like the cheese is a little bit flavorless it could, it could be, it have a little bit more flavor. It doesn't taste like cheddar that much to me, but it's still really good with the fries. It combines really well. Got some nice little scallions in here too. The fries are seasoned very beautifully. I would absolutely get this again. This is really, really good. This is perfect vegan junk food. This place, even before I take a bite, gets a point to originality. The reason why we chose this place is we've never been here before uh, self-isolation or anything else is that it's very odd nowadays, especially with the plant-based foods getting so popular to find a place that still makes its own in-house patty and does it well. And this place makes all of its own patties, which was a draw for us. So first, let's try these delicious cheese fries. They look cheesy. Now, I'll admit one of my weaknesses is cheese fries, but because I'm like dozen tolerant, I can almost never have it. So I hope this is good. The cheese is good. Honestly, it does taste like cheese sauce. I just feel like maybe it's missing like a little bit of salt or a little kick. And the fries are perfectly salted, but I feel like the cheese just needs a little oomph. But it's still really good and probably the best vegan cheese fries I think I've ever had. Four to five plus. These sweet potato fries have absolutely nothing on them. No powdered sugar, no, none of the, the usual toppings that you get with sweet potato fries. That's Bear's fault. They had options, I just didn't pick any of them. Oh. They had like a whole list of stuff, but I wanted to make sure that everything was gonna be edible, so I just didn't. Okay, they had like cinnamon sugar and powdered sugar and all the rest, so I just didn't get it. And it's Bear's fault that these are bland AF, but I actually think that they're a, a standalone, very flavorful for a sweet potato fry. And actually, they don't, I don't feel like I'm missing anything just because there's no like garnish or seasoning or anything on top. These are really good. I kind of like them now a little bit more than these chili or these cheese fries. And then me, I ordered the boring plain sweet potato fries as a side. I don't know if you guys noticed it, even though we do review food, I've been trying to eat a smidge healthier. So yeah, I didn't want to cover the fries in like sugar cinnamon sugar so sweet potato fries as far as it went crisp well seasoned mm. 
It's not just straight cut sweet potato fried, so they, they took some care in them. I like that. Three and a half out of five cloves. I think I do like the cheese fries just a smidge better. Now we have the vegan Philly. Uh, I asked for no mushrooms, so that's the only thing missing from this. It um, it comes on a pretzel bun. I love how the pretzel is shaped like an actual pretzel. That's pretty freaking cool. Let's see how this tastes. It actually has the patty. It looks like a black bean patty. This looks like a house-made patty. Got lots of stuff in here. Now I'm kind of excited. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's actually not too bad. I was expecting something like our pharmacy video where we got a Philly and. So I've never actually had a Philly cheesesteak before. I'm not sure what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes very cheesy and creamy. Like some meat in there is actually pretty good. If this is what a Philly cheesesteak is supposed to taste like, I need to get a lot more of those. Really, really good. I love Philly cheesesteaks. They're so good. Cheese is perfectly creamy. Everything tastes with nice flat cooked grills, onion, peppers. It tastes like a Philly cheesesteak. That's another five out of five for me. Most definitely, I love that. And it's not as greasy as a normal Philly cheesesteak. I love it. Well, that was an impossible patty, so I was expecting something a little bit more meaty than this vegetable house made patty. I can see some quinoa in here too. It's actually quite good. Actually, it looks like it's mostly quinoa and black beans with some veggies that make up the patty absolutely delicious i would actually get this again and the pretzel bun is really cool and good too now because we make mistakes uh neither of us thought about putting cheese on the philly burger even though they gave us a huge vat of cheese and obviously philly cheesesteak need some cheesesteak of course some people do without but hey different structure different folks i'm actually glad we tried it both ways because we made that mistake we did have a little bit extra cheese and we went ahead and added it into the burger so i'm gonna try it with now, neither of us is a huge fan of like peppers, but I mean, that's Philly for you. So let's um, let's dive in. I think the smokiness of it, plus the pretzel bun, are like the stars of this little show right here. Um, honestly, it tastes like cheese steak to me. A little bit more cheese would help. This is still really good on its own. I would eat this again. I would probably add back the mushrooms because I feel like that would give it some more texture and sort of like that smokehouse flavor, but. I, I give this one a three and a half out of five plus. It's still really good. These are definitely better than most Beyond Burgers that we've had by far. This um, the this Korean barbecue burger did say that it had cheddar on it, cheddar teas. So that's why I put it on this one. And then it's a whole wheat bun with a slaw. Everybody in their slaws. The barbecue sauce on this veggie burger, barbecue Korean burger is everything the barbecue sauce is absolutely amazing my favorite burger is absolutely this korean barbecue vegan burger and then i think next is going to be the sweet potato fries then the cheese fries then this philly because yeah bear's right it's missing cheese it's slaw because everybody likes slaw and the onion ring in the middle which i'll try to avoid but it definitely looks like a hearty bite Mmm. The flavors in that patty are like instant. It's definitely like a house-made patty. You can taste the quinoa and the black bean. It doesn't taste like processed. Like it tastes fresh. You made it fresh, grilled it. All the toppings are good. The wheat bun's a bit chalky. Wheat buns can be like that sometimes. And they had a whole host of options for buns, but that is still really good. That barbecue sauce, I agree with the princess, does absolutely make this burger. Give this one three and a half out of five plus. I would definitely eat that again. And then me, I'm not a huge burger fan myself. Like if we go somewhere, you'll see most times unless it's like a stall, like a place known for burgers. I get chicken sandwiches or fish sandwiches because I don't like burgers that much. Especially like big, like signature burgers. That's just gonna put me right to sleep. 
But this one sounded interesting because it is a Korean barbecue burger. So it's got kimchi on it, a fried egg, uh, a third pound of beef on it, medium rare, with uh, Korean sauces. So it looks like an absolute mess. It's absolutely ugly inside, like somebody created food murder in there. But I am excited to see how this tastes. Mmm. Mm, the meat and the egg. The smokiness of the meat. Then it's topped by the savoriness of the egg. Which is medium, so you still have some yolk in there. And with the kimchi and there's a little bit of spice, it tastes like Korean barbecue in a bun. It's like spot on Korean barbecue. And I love Korean barbecue. That's a solid four out of five claws. It's a little bit less kimchi i think it would make it burnt but it get a little bit better because the kimchi is strong but i absolutely love this mm. i would say that epic burger is 100 percent our jam and uh we will definitely be going back to try more of this me not even being a burger person like i'm going to devour this whole thing this is so good so that has been epic burger uh with we've, we've tried out some fabulous plant-based representations from them. We tried out one of their non-vegan burgers. Princess, thoughts? I I love the innovative patty with the quinoa and the black beans and the fact, like you said, the fact that they still make their own patties yes. is really freaking impressive. Their seasonings are great. Their ingredients are fresh. Their sides are amazing. I absolutely would frequent Epic Burger if I was around one. Yeah. If this was a normal day for us, let's say we weren't under quarantine, that'd be a nice stop in place on like a day adventure for us. Yeah, for sure. Well, they have some great food. We definitely want to hear, have you guys been to Epic Burger? Leave us, hit us up in the comments if there's any other places like Epic Burger or any other local takeout restaurants that you want to see us support during this time of self-quarantine. Let us know. Uh, hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. I mean, a Philly cheesesteak usually comes with cheese on it. <laughs> Not cheddar, though. It can go with any kind of cheese. It said the barbecue one had. Okay. I'm just saying, it's, in my mind, I'm like, it's missing something. Most Fillies have cheese on them. But, I mean, it's not, it's not a guarantee. Some, some people don't get cheese on their Fillies. So Maybe I mean, that's the problem. It is a Philly cheesesteak. It should have had cheese. Maybe I did put it on the wrong burger.